I just don't care anymore. Which is fine when things are going well in your life, when you're feeling good, when most things are okay. But when everything sucks, and then you stop caring, you literally have nothing left. Like, no motivation, no happiness, no reason for anything. Everything just sucks. And because you stop caring, you don't really care. It's like, oh, I need to try to eat because otherwise I'm going to keep losing weight and it's not good for me because I need energy in order to fight cancer. And it's like, I don't care. And it's like, even if I do force myself to eat or somehow am hungry and eat, I know I'm going to throw it up anyway, so what's the point? And it's just like, it's that same thing for everything. Of Like at this point, I, I don't know how much I weigh because I don't have a scale and they didn't weigh me last time I was at the emergency room and my immunotherapy treatment was postponed. So I have no idea how much I weigh, but... Given how little I've eaten in the last few weeks, I'm expecting I'm somewhere in the like 120 pound range, which is the least I've ever weighed. Which sucks, of course. But the thing is, like, I don't care anymore. Not that I've given up, but like, as I explained in the last video, like, even if I wanted to, I can't give up. There's no point of giving up. <clears throat> It's just, I, I don't care. It's like, all right, life sucks. I don't care. I'm so skinny now that just doing anything hurts. Sleeping in a very comfortable bed ends up hurting because I have no muscle mass, no fat to protect myself. So anytime my body touches itself, it just becomes uncomfortable or just the pressure of my body pressing down on my, on my skin ends up hurting. Same thing for the couch. I get winded just fucking like walking to the kitchen. Not that I really have to go that often since I can't eat anything. And you know, it's just like, what's the point of caring about anything at this point? <clears throat> and by the way, I want to uh, say this again. I, I haven't read or responded to any comments in the last four or five videos. I just don't have the energy for that. and. I, I'm sure that there's a ton of people out there just, you know, encouraging me and supporting me and praying and everything. And I really appreciate that. I just, I don't have the energy and please don't take offense to this. But at this point, I just don't care anymore. So even though, yes, I am grateful for it, I, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to read or respond to any comments for I don't know how long. I feel it's important to continue sharing the journey, the experience, both for myself later, so I can have all this recorded and for people following the journey and everything. But I just, I don't, I don't have the energy, the willpower, the motivation to read or respond to comments right now. And seeing how they keep piling up every video, I, I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to catch up. So I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But I encourage you to keep commenting, keep encouraging each other, supporting each other, having conversations. I, I'm assuming that can help you, so, you know, keep doing what, whatever feels right to you. And I'll just keep doing, well, I don't know what I'm doing. Surviving, I guess? At this point, that's pretty much the only word I can use to describe it. <clears throat> and it's not like I'm not doing the things I need to do. It's like, yeah, I try to eat. I try to do what I can to make sure I get as much calories in my body as I in my body as I can and I don't become too dehydrated and you know I called my nurse even though she's not there there's another nurse who took her role for now and you know she's going to speak to the oncologist even though my specific oncologist is also on vacation so it's like you know I'm I'm still doing what I have to do and they'll tell me what they think is best and hopefully they'll eventually figure out what is causing this and we can hopefully fix it and things will slowly eventually in I don't know how long eventually go back to normal or you know the 
not feeling like shit every single of the every single second of the day normal um that would definitely be nice i had no idea where i was going with this anyway yeah so i'll keep doing what i'm doing i'll keep trying to share as much as i can and yeah that's i think that's about it because I can't think of anything else to say. And again, I couldn't think of anything to say when I record when I started recording this video and I've been speaking for five minutes, so I guess there's always something to say. Even though it feels like it's all pointless anyway. So anyway, life sucks. Keep sucking. And then I guess it sucks some more. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. So I'll speak to you at some point in the future. Hopefully I'll be more positive, things will be better, but you know, at, at this point I know that even if there's a brief moment where I do feel better, it's only temporary. So, yep, I've given up. Even though I can't, I've given up. <laughs> uh, paradox of having cancer. You give up when you can't give up. So you don't give up. Doesn't make sense. It's okay. It doesn't have to. Anyway, see you at some point in the future.